Hey, hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're doing awesome possum. In today's video, I will briefly be covering the four new monarchs available in the Deadlands DLC for Kingdom Two Crowns. First up is a badass babe called Miriam, who you start out with in the game. She is a shard binder with a whip that unleashes a frozen wave of shards that can freeze the enemy, allowing you to either escape their grasp at night or defend your walls during a blood moon. It comes in handy in quite a few different situations, and you can actually whip quite often because the cooldown is fairly low. She also has the habit of not wearing pants because I guess she likes to feel the breeze between her knees. Next up is my personal favorite, his name is Gable. He can be found on Island 2 locked up in a cage. You can unlock the cage for 12 coins, or alternatively, I've been told that if you expand your walls beyond his cage, he will automatically open for you. After you put in the 12 necessary coins to unlock Gable, a archer will start to make his way over to him to shoot the rope to unlock the cage, which then allows you to spend three more coins to actually switch to Gable. So his special ability is he is able to turn into a bat, sort of like a vampire. It's super fast. From what I can tell, it's faster than any of the mounts. And it lasts for around 14 to 15 seconds, and it recharges relatively fast. So it comes in handy for just traversing back and forth, hiring people, maybe escaping the greed, going past active portals or inactive portals if you're kind of scared about it. All around, this guy is really great, very useful. Definitely love this dude. One small limitation of Gable that you need to be aware of though is that if you transform into the bat, any hermit that is riding on your back will drop to the ground and will not continue forward with you. Just something to be aware of. After that, we've got Alfred who can be found on Island 3 and unlocked in the same manner as Gable. This dude is an alchemist who can duplicate himself for a number of uses. The most practical use is duplicating yourself to distract the greed. The greed will attack your duplicate two times before they start to ignore it and then go straight for you. He also has a various few other uses for the duplicate, which can actually duplicate most of the special abilities of your mounts, such as the unicorn, which can poop out double the money, double the fun. You can also double your fire from the lizard, you can do more ranged attacks with the bear for either the greed or for hunting. Alfred's duplicate can also be useful for merely just picking up coins that might be out of your reach or a little bit further than you want to go. Likewise, your Gamogen duplicate can also damage animals and the greed, although it does not seem to be able to push back the greed in the same way that your real Gamogen can. If you are riding the golem and you duplicate yourself, you can spawn some root walls further in front of you, but you are still limited to three walls no matter what, unfortunately. Likewise, with the beetle, you can spawn a larva trap further away from you, but you are still limited seemingly to two larva traps at a time, but that might just be based on uh, stamina usage. I'm still not entirely sure. The fourth and final monarch that you can use in Deadlands is Zangetsu. So this one-armed demon hunter badass can be found on Island 4 and unlocked in the exact same way as the previous two monarchs. Though so his special ability is a attack where he raises up his sword, which then buffs all the nearby units, archers and pikemen and all those good guys, and allows them to increase their attack speed. This is good for both defense against blood moons and offense against portals. There's really not much else to him besides that. His cooldown is relatively short, so you can use it quite a bit. I actually ended up using this guy the least. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for the rundown on the four brand new monarchs for Kingdom 2 Crown Deadlands. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If there's any information that I missed, feel free to leave it down in the comments, and I will add it to the video description to make this easier for everyone to understand and get as much info as possible. 
Anyway guys, if you did enjoy the video, a thumbs up and a subscription would be mucho excelente. And we'll see you fine folks in the next episode.